You know, we should all make it so. Corbin won't do it. Praying won't do it. Religion won't do it. Philosophy won't do it. The Supreme Court won't do it. The President of the Congress won't do it. The UN won't do it. The H bomb won't do it. The sun and the moon won't do it. God won't do it. And I certainly won't do it. And that leaves you. You'll have to do it. And now that you have wondering about the same man inside, I never tried to fool you. Cause I got nothing to hide.
that you'll find no exception in me. But that doesn't get me through a sea of tears. Over life's biggest tragedy, yeah. Thank you. 
शने time warping back into the present. Just amazing, isn't it? <laughs> We're going to do something that's a little bit different from uh, what's the other stuff we've been doing for the rest of the evening. I'll tell you why. It's because you're going to get down in the alley. We're going to take it down now. We're going to get it now. We're going to play the blues, y'all. Now, some of you may be saying to yourself, now, we're kind of far from the blues, and these guys don't look like blues musicians. I mean, I always thought the blues came from, like, the Delta of Mississippi or South Side of Chicago or some glamorous, poverty-stricken area like that. But no, there's a new blues, y'all. And the blues each one of us got it because we all from New York City, the home of the technological blues. The technological blues. The technological blues is city ordinance against burning your garbage, but nobody's going to come collect it. You got technological blues when you got yourself a brand new car and you can't afford to get it fixed when it stops. You got the technological blues when all you got is beans and your electric can opener is broken. So you see, we all got the technological blues. You got the technological blues if your TV goes on the blink in the middle of the Waltons. You got them blues. And we have on this stage tonight the number one exponent of this modern technological blues. And I'm going to introduce them to you now. And all you got to do is take your attention. And all you got to do is cast it. You got to cast it. You got to cast it right on. Up, up, up. Center stage until you get to the very top of Mount Utopia. And you'll see up there a whole bunch of little knobs and dials. Oh, whole bunch of little buttons and knobs. Oh, lots of lights flashing on the rock. And if you look around, you'll see a person up there. And this is a man. This is the number one man. The man of the technological boot. Here he is, Mr. Roger Powell. Hey, Mr. Hey, man. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. So, anyway. See, Roger got this technological blues up in Boston by MIT. This is about the worst case you can get. But when he's written this song for us, you see, it's a little three-bar blues. And this blues is going to take you as close to the as close to the technological blues as you can get without actually paying your dues, as we say in the business. And the title of this tune is The Emerald Tablet of Hermes Trismegistes. A double dose of blues feeling for you right now. Thank you. 
Thank mm-hmm. you.
I know a lot of you like to keep up on the old utopian lore, and you might notice that there are a few people on the stage with, with whom you might not be familiar name-wise. So we're going to take it from the top with John Siegler on bass. <laughs> Mickey Klingman on keyboard. John Wilcox on drums. Roger Powell on the synthesizer. Ralph Shuckin on keyboards. And our singers, Arnold, Philip, and David. Thank you very much, boy. You don't know just how good they sound. Oh, we have a little busted drum action here. Which is an excellent opportunity. He's gonna fiddle and diddle. Take a wild crack at it.
This is the last gig of our uh, Summer of 75 tour. We want to we thank everybody here for putting such a pretty bow on our package. Thank you.
Why don't you know it's over for you? Oh, I know. I'm praying for you. 